So my name is Steve, Steve Parry, and I'm an Executive Vice President of um, Entity Group. An Entity Group um, a firm who've been around for just over 25 years actually in this business, but um, in the last five years, very focused on information management and uh, how to help large organizations get the very best and the very most from their data. So that's what we do. Before I joined Entity, um, I was with Hewlett Packard, looking after their analytics and data management teams in Europe. And before that, with Cognizant doing the same thing. So I've been around this industry for a few years and I'm pleased to be part of Entity. Yeah, so sure. Um, Entity exists to, uh, to basically help organizations implement uh, projects around data, but there's m much more to the company than that. Um, so advisory services to help organizations understand their opportunity and the obligations they have around data. So how can they, um, how can they move into a digital disruption um, roadmap at the same time as meeting their compliance requirements, uh, which are ever increasing. So advisory, project services, and increasingly for us, managed services, helping organizations derive measurable value from data and to continue to deliver that value over the length of what can be a multi-year managed service uh, arrangement. So yes, you, you use the word journey, um, and uh, for many people, it is a journey. Um, and somebody once said to me, if it's a journey, for goodness sake, give me some roadside attractions along the way, because it can be a long, a long journey. Um, if you view your stakeholders in a big firm as kids in the back seat saying, Dad, are we there yet? Then that's not a bad way, really, of thinking about your, your data journey. And on that data roadmap, as many people will call it, you have many decision points. You've got to make big decisions about um, data technology, um, about in, internal projects, uh, about business um, priorities. But you've also got value points. When can I get something from this that means something to my stakeholders? So that's really it. It's helping people understand the roadmap the opportunities and the decisions and, and, and obligations they have. Every firm I think that we work with now, every enterprise sort of class organization will already be into big data in some way. They'll be looking at um, social data, unstructured data, um, data which is from aggregators maybe in insurance, um, you know, non-traditional types of data. But at the same time, People still need to understand um, who are my customers, what are my products, in which locations do I operate. So very much what we do is help people balance between those two things as well, structured data and new data types, um, and keeping a handle on what is it really that's driving your business, um, customers, products, and, and where you operate. Well, I think, um, uh, as I said, roadside attractions, that's what we look for. So um, making sure that um, the stakeholders in the companies that we're working with know what or we can help them work out what is possible um, don't take on too much as you know it's not new to say think big and implement small but um, but it's very important to do that big data comes with um, i say the ideas around data lake and uh, hadoop and different distribution um, techniques and analytics come with great opportunity but also perhaps the hope that i no longer need to worry about some of the more traditional aspects of data if we're not careful, people throw everything into a data lake. And almost every company that we talk to now, some of that is going on. Um, I think what we're helping people do is to say, well, do that, but do it in a way that at least has in mind what you're going to get from it later around customers, around products, and around the places you do business. Yeah, certainly. I mean, in, in Entity, what we've seen over the years, um, working with lots of large firms, there's almost always a gap between the data that organizations have and the information and the, and the people who need that information on the other side of what we call the data delta. So data delta um, for us is, um, describes the problem that, uh, that exists there. And we have um, within Entity developed a, a pragmatic way of crossing that data delta. Um, and that just has a number of um, very important principles in it. So organizational strategy and governance, but um, ownership of data. Um, describing data, uh, data quality, usage and sharing of data, and implementation and control of that data. And just briefly, what most firms, most organizations have some trouble with sometimes is finding themselves doing too much of the implementation. So a big project can take many years, and a lot of effort goes into implementing something. But our advice would be don't forget that the ownership, the um, 
the description, the business glossaries and so on, the, uh, the data quality, the usage and sharing policies, um, and the access and control, all of those need to be considered in order that the thing works. Um, and the pragmatic advice would be, don't just go top down, that may not be pragmatic um, in, this, in this day and age, but take a slice, take a slice through and always keep looking back up to make sure, do I know who owns this data? Um, am I aware of the data quality? Um, can I meet my security and privacy requirements, perhaps around GDPR? And um, I mean, just to add, we've, um, we've put together a book on that and that's about to be launched um, in November of, of this year in London and New York. So crossing the data delta.